Hello everyone, this is Ashok Sen and today we are going to talk about reports and dashboard in lightning experience. So what are the reports and dashboards? So in reports we can say just give us summary of brief thing like uh, we have so many records like and they have so many conditions. So if someone asks for report, so what does he means is that he just wants some summary of his or her particular query okay so i have written here in my documentation like what is a report in its simplest form a report is a list of records like opportunities or accounts that meet the criteria you define but reports are much more than simple list to get data you need you can filter group do maths on records you can even display them graphically in chart in chart means in dashboards Every report is stored in a folder. Okay, there are two folders, private, public, and you can create your own. Report folders determine how reports are accessed and who can access them to view, edit, or manage. Folders can be public, hidden, or shared. You control who has access to the content of the folder based on role, permission, public group, territories, license type, and so on. You can make a folder available to your entire organization or make it private so that only the owner has access. Okay. So what does that mean? That we can create reports in our own folder or the folder which uh, organization has given us. And we can manage access of that report by ourselves. Let me show you one example. Okay. So I'll go and click on reports. Okay, so when I click on reports, it will gonna ask me the types and all. Yeah, these are the report types. I, th I think we'll see in furthermore when I read the documentation the this thing, the folder types and all those stuff. Okay, but right now we just knowing what are the reports and what are the dashboards. Okay, so now dashboard. What, what is a dashboard? A dashboard is a visual display of key metrics and trends for records in your organization. Each dashboard component is based on single source report. You can use the same or different source reports for the various component in a dashboard. For example, use the same report in bar chart and pie chart. By adding multiple dashboard component to a single dashboard page, you can create a powerful visual display of data on a common theme such as sales pair performance or custom support and then I have uh, like reports dashboard are stored in folders same way in report also there are folders in dashboard also there are folders if you have access to a folder you can view its dashboard okay. to view the individual dashboard component you also need access to underlying report means if you don't have access of that report you can't see the dashboard of that report okay so you have to have access to that report to see the dashboard of that particular report which we have created so if i uh, like in short ki report kya hota hai report matlab bahut hi kam shabdon mein cheezon ko explain karna use kehte hai report report mein wo zyada cheeze nahi nahi likhti jo jo important points hai ya jo jo important records hai ya jo jo important key hai वो ऐड करते ताकि सामने वाले को जल्दी से मालूम पड़े या फिर परफॉर्मेंस क्या है या रेवेन्यू क्या है या वो फिल्टर भी कर सकते हैं उनके रेवेन्यू में कि मतलब कहाँ से आ रहा है स्टेट वाइज टेरिटरी वाइज एंड सो ऑन अब बात आती है डैशबोर्ड क्या होता है जब अपने रिपोर्ट क्रिएट करते तो वो एक बहुत ही साधारण वे में दिखता है सो ऑर्डिनरी सो डैशबोर्ड क्या करता है उसको एक चार्ट में लाता है कलरफुल में लाता है जहाँ पर बहुत एट्रैक्टिव दिखता है और बहुत सिंपली अपने वहाँ पे देख सकते हैं फ्रॉम चार्ट ओनली हम लोग डिफाइन कर सकते हैं कि ठीक है इतना इतना है एंड इतना इतना है सो डैशबोर्ड्स आर आल्सो हेल्पफुल टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर बेटर रिपोर्ट्स ओके नाउ थर्ड व्हाट इज रिपोर्ट टाइप मेन एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग यू गोना आस्क वैन यू क्लिक ऑन न्यू न्यू रिपोर्ट इन सेल्स फोर्स ओके so report type is like a template that makes reporting easier 
the report types determines which field and records are available for use when creating a report what does it mean is like report type means the the object which you want report like the object uh, the report on which object we want right like if i have created student or class so i'll gonna uh, need report on student only right so report type would be student same goes for account opportunity context and whatsoever and if you don't find your report type then you have to create customly like i have written here this is based on relationship between primary object and its related object okay like parent and child relationship which we have seen earlier then report display only record that meet the criteria defined in report types what does it mean is like if i select student object report right report type so it will gonna show me the field of student only not the account or an, any other object field okay so th th that's why here we have mentioned that point that reports display on record that meet the criteria defined in the report type out of the box salesforce provide a set of predefined standard report types okay we have we will see that and don't see all the fields you want you might need to create create a custom report types okay uh, so i have here uh, set a chart here that these are the reports first step first of all we're gonna select a report from from report the fields we, we need and the field we need most and the filters after adding all those stuff from report here second step and the third it's just like a chart or colorful pie chart from where we will understand our report more briefly okay so these are the step like first we will gonna select report types and then we'll gonna jump on report we will customize we will edit whole thing will be done here and then third will be like dashboard it will just gonna set that thing there okay so we'll gonna see how does it go okay so we're gonna create on account object one report so i'm gonna click on account and from right hand side i'll gonna click on start reporting okay so now it has shown here that no record returns try editing report filter uh, so i'm gonna click on report as it so i have two field already right pre given which i can't delete it has given by system one is show me what does it mean show me my account my account means the account which i have created okay that's what we call my account and another one is created date this field uh, filters like by date wise if if i created accounts after 6 june it will gonna show here so we can customize that way okay but right now i, I want to see all accounts so it, it has written here that show and then select all account to view all account right and it has again say uh, says me that set the created filters to all time so that i can see all records okay okay so i'll gonna do as per as it says so i'll gonna go and click all account apply and i'm gonna refresh it okay now we just have a any one thing created it but I'll, I'll gonna click this update preview automatically always click it on or you will have to click refresh again and again and again okay so we'll just gonna click on update preview automatically so whenever we filter it it will gonna update automatically so now i'll gonna go and create it and make it uh, okay not from here from range in range i'll gonna click on all time so it will show me the accounts of any date okay so whatever account i have in my organization i'll i'll gonna see here because it's showing me all accounts here okay so now what we have requirement here we just want to add some filter and we will make this the customer direct uh, records separate okay we just need customer direct record only that's it 
and how we gonna do that we're gonna add in filters but first of all I don't need this type of like field which are not ne necessary first of all last activity is not necessary I'll gonna delete it okay account owner is I don't think it is right now it's required so I'm gonna delete it account name billing yeah it would be work type yeah it is most important right now rating it is important last modified it I don't require now so I'm gonna delete it okay so these are the fields which I needed and from this field uh, like in 13 records I'm gonna separate uh, the account whose type are customer direct only okay so I'll gonna do that so we're gonna go in filter we're gonna click on add filter and we're gonna to select the field which in which we want that filter right so we want that filter in type so I'll gonna just type here type click on it and now it shows me filter by type operator equals to yeah because I want same I don't want like there are so many uh, fields here like equals not equals to less than greater than less or equal to greater or equal to contains does not contain start with okay they are the filters but right now what we required are equals we just want this only so that's why we use equal in value what we required is customer direct right so we're gonna select customer direct when selected and I'll just gonna click on apply you can see it just like uh, it remove the account which don't have customer direct type right okay let me show you I'll just gonna switch off this update preview automatically so we can see that thing I'll gonna delete this filter I'm gonna refresh it and we're gonna see 13 records here right again I'll gonna add filter so you can see the changes equals to customer direct I require every account which have type customer direct now it says me to refresh it right so I'll just gonna click on refresh see these are the account which have type customer direct right okay now we're gonna save it and we're gonna name it direct customer accounts direct customer accounts okay it will gonna set itself uh, report unique name so we don't have to write anything like that so yeah it has and we just have to save it okay so we just created a report with a simple filter which you want okay now we can see there are filters not only one type like this only we can add more filter filter also like when I click on this add cross filter right so we're gonna see this thing now what are the cross filters so again I'll gonna click on report and I'll gonna click on new report I need a new report again account okay start report and as it predefined two filters which we have seen earlier so we will gonna make modification first of all we are gonna click in all so I if I don't want to go to filters and then whole process I can do from here also so it just say show all accounts so I'll just gonna click on all accounts so it will set by all account Ref refresh it right now I have to just update preview automatically so I don't have to do refresh all the time created date set to all time okay I just created that all thing and we have here again the same thing which you have done okay so now what we gonna do is now we can we gonna use cross filters okay so in filter we gonna add cross filter what does cross filter means uh, in filter we gonna filter the object which we have selected at first step and what was our first step report types okay now in cross filter as it name says cross what does it mean we can modify like we can add filters by 
another object also but the requirement is that it should be related with this object okay the report type you have selected okay so we're gonna see like what we have here show me accounts okay show me account okay in show me we'll gonna set account only and with only because we want second object field also here so we're gonna stay with accounts with and set secondary object right like this this is our parent object and this will gonna our child object so in child object we gonna select uh, opportunities that means select opportunity and click apply here okay so what has done here optional okay so now you can see here the cross uh, cross filters right we have two things filters and cross filter now and what happen in filters in filters we can filters account object fields right but in cross filter we can filter opportunities okay now you have seen here like uh, earlier we have 13 records and now only 9 why that so these are the accounts which have opportunities selected okay the those are the opportunity from 13 i i have created some account without op opportunity because opportunity is not required in account so that's why i just cre created some accounts for demo and they don't have any op opportunity that's why they have been left out okay so these are the nine record which have op opportunities in it like in uh, it has child object of opportunities selected so we're gonna do some filters in opportunity now so let me do by stages okay so yeah we're gonna select stage here only okay i want every opportunity uh, stage equals to okay prospecting qualification um, value proposition and let me take need analysis also okay so i just have add filter in my op opportunity which is child object of parent object accounts okay now i'm just gonna apply it and it will gonna reduce record from this okay so we'll get, we will gonna see how it goes so we're gonna click on apply and there we go just required to file and why is that because these are the opportunity which uh, which has need analysis prospecting qualification value propositions selected in their stages these are the accounts right that's what we use uh, cross filters okay so we're gonna save it and name it accounts with early stages accounts with with okay sorry with early stage opportunities okay unique name would be automatically okay accounts with early stage or opportunities and i'm gonna just click here see okay so we have seen both filter filters and cross filter okay so this is just a simple example of report how it's work and how we can add our filters and how we can select report types okay now move to documentation what we have format reports now reports have types the reports are three type okay in format way there are three reports format available tabular summary and matrix so we will read about each one by one tabular reports tabular reports are the simplest and fastest way to look at your data similar to spreadsheet right they consist simply of an ordered set of fields in column with each matching record listed in a row they often best 
used for task like generating mailing list okay so we're gonna see an example of tab tabular reports so let me just save it first of all yeah i have saved it but okay it has saved already so i'm just gonna okay let me click on run so you just get a better idea how it will wanna show in report yeah it will give you total record fields here upside it will numbering each one and you have your report created and we can add it from here also but I have to enable editing okay it is enabled again oh, we can arrange by order also mm, let me delete this column we don't require here okay so I'll be gonna do some here okay account asset name okay we'll see what does it affect okay d e g p u okay it has shifted descending okay u p g okay it's working okay let it uh gel let jump to the tab blue report right so we're gonna click on new report and we're gonna select report type should be opportunity let me select opportunity now you, you're gonna think like why it shows like no result for opportunity right because in category it has selected rec recently use and we haven't used opportunity so for that we have to go to all we have to select like all and in all we're gonna select opportunity see it has already come here right so we're just gonna select here start reporting again predefined filters so it shows me all opportunity right the close date it has some custom close date I don't think which we required so it just say that set the close date filter to all time so we're gonna do that and we have our own records right the records which we have in our org so now let me first of all okay move on to our next thing okay we're gonna change first of all our column wise because we don't this is like not a mannerly way the account role account owner account name opportunity we require a mannerly right so we're gonna shift from here to here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift account name to the first okay to the first okay it's processing you can do from here also and you can do from left hand side outline also okay so if you want to do from outline we can do also like opportunity it should be first and then it should be type so i just have to drag type to upper side okay i'll gonna click on type and it will just move upside 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 and i'll gonna drop it okay A opportunity name type and then we require lead source should be third one okay okay let's show us no 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 you don't have to be there okay let's show should be third amount where are the amounts okay there we go amount should be okay amount after close date and next step mm, let me change close days to account and new step new step to downside of close date and then stage and probability okay let me change it stage okay and probability would come okay down stage now fiscal period age and created period so fiscal period age okay age and created date okay oops we just interchange both age created date opportunity owner and owner role so opportunity owner and owner role right and account name so we don't require expected revenue 
so we just gonna cut it from here okay so now these are the reports like we have changed the order of fields here right we'll start start with opportunity name its type lead source amounts close date and so on okay now what we're gonna do is like these are the tabular form record okay we can see records here name we can see the field in information whatever it has we can see stages also like close one prospecting qualification so these are the report of opportunity of tabular format where we can see information of records types uh, its name amount close date and so on okay so this is the example of tabular report so we just gonna click on it okay so we just written it name open opportunity okay this year okay and just gonna save it okay one thing I think we have forgot here we haven't seen the fold folder type right okay next report we will gonna see that I think I have skipped that part so yeah we'll gonna see that don't worry about that so now we're gonna save it as we have saved already so we're just gonna click on run we're gonna see how does it look so at the heading it says open opportunity this year so it's the name of our report and down to that it's total record the record whatever here displaying and then the report which we have created now this or blue curler line shows that we can redirect to this page okay like a account name we can redirect to the account name which we can select from here opportunity if, if you want to see more detail you just gonna click here and it will gonna redirect to its own record pages where we can see briefly record information okay so these are the tabular reports now we're gonna see summary reports so let me change okay so what are the summary reports summary reports are similar to tabular reports but also allows you to group rows of data view subtotal and create chart summary reports give us many more options for organizing the data and are great for use in dashboard yes summary reports are the workhorses of reporting most people find the most of their report tends to be of this format what does it mean like uh, if you want to create a dashboard then a summary report would be ideal for that okay so most of the people uses this report so they can create their colorful attractive dashboards so we will gonna create our own one so I'm gonna click on report Uh, new report and all first of all category and we're gonna do um, let me select report type should be cases okay and I'm gonna select start reporting okay okay now I think I can see every data yeah I don't have to require to filter like okay it has already modified itself like show me all cases open date all time and unit hours okay so now we're gonna add filter here so we're gonna search for like add filter and we're gonna search open okay the case are open or not right we're gonna see that so in filter we're gonna search open gonna click open open should be true yeah true means it's open right okay and we're gonna click and apply now we're gonna see like the field which we required the call the column which we required the case owner subject should be here so I'll just gonna reorder that and date and time 
account name I think should be last right okay date and time open age open close and account name we don't require right now account name because what we required is uh, this open close and all those stuff right so we're gonna put a account name at the last now what you're gonna do is like to make this summary report you need to group rows like so first of all you're gonna click on outlines see we have here uh, we have add our filter here like opens to true right these are the cases which are open see here you you can see the checkbox right it ticked it's true so now we're gonna make it summary right so in group row we're gonna make it by a priority okay let me select priority okay there we go case information priority see you can see uh, we have additional added or like structure has been changed fully by just one column that we add priority by group row right but we don't need this type of thing because it's not looking nice and it just giving subtotal and all those stuff we don't require subtotal we don't require detail row right now so I just remove detail row and yeah there we go what does it say it just uh, like I have cases uh, which are open and which have priorities like high then one cases which are open medium it just one and I have cases open which have priority low which are two records right so ground total will be four and these are my summary reports okay so now we just gonna save this report okay let me save this report and I'm just gonna name it open cases for old time open cases for all time okay now okay the the things which we have missing out folders you can see here folder side right? private select folder if, if I selected on here so yeah private public share with me created by me all folder there are amples of features here you can use okay so go through by yourself because right now we just gonna save it in private reports only okay so I'll just gonna save it okay and we're gonna try to run it once Okay, there we go that's how our summary report should look like now to the third matrix report right okay what are the matrix report matrix report allows you to group records both by rows and by column these reports are the most time consuming to set up but they also provide the most detailed view of our data okay so let me create one I'm gonna click on new report I'm gonna use uh, opportunities start reporting okay I need uh, opportunity all and close date should be all time so I'm gonna see some records here okay for date okay now I'm gonna add some filter here like I need uh, opportunity whose status would be close one okay so I'm gonna go in filter and I'm gonna go and it will just gonna status if I can see okay no I'm not seeing here status okay I'll not from here okay show me from opportunity right from here we will do do that right so in opportunity uh, filter by roles no mm -hmm. Uh, for opportunity status standard filters mm, one minute guys I just have to see okay yeah we have they have given us that filter al already and we are seeing everywhere okay so we have your filter show me close it and opportunity status right so we can set our status like close one 
and we're gonna click apply and it will gonna reorder by the opportunities which have stages close one okay so yeah you can see here there are 18 records which have stages close one okay now we're gonna report uh, we're gonna summarize this report by sum of account okay so amount column okay so uh, when I click on this amount column let me change okay when I click on this drop down there, there would be option like summarize and sum okay so I'll just gonna click on sum okay so what does it do, do? it just give me a sum of this amount field right like there are 18 opportunity which has some amounts and at the last I have some of the, those all amounts okay now to change the report format to matrix we have to make it from rows and column right okay so we're gonna do rows by close month okay so I just wanna select close month okay so we have close month one only they are all closes on 2014 so because they all are the old records so that's why okay and now I'll gonna column in column I'll gonna add type okay okay so type sum of account records count okay but the thing is that I don't have so many records so it's it will not give me like more briefly things in matrix but I do have some records so I just have this uh, opportunity who has closed month this and type this existing and new new customer there are two types right so existing customer upgrade if it is existing customer this is this and if it's new this and what are these these are the summary of existing customer amounts right which we have select summarize and sum that's what this okay so now we're gonna okay so these are the things now we don't require this thing like detail at or uh, details 18 rows and all those stuff we just required this thing so we're gonna hide this detail row when we click on this it will be got removed from the page now I'm just gonna save it and these are the opportunity which are filters by the amounts right so I'm gonna name it opportunities opportunities by some of amount by sum of amount okay I'll just gonna save it and we're gonna run once to see it how does it goes okay okay now we come to dashboard like okay Salesforce dashboard present multiple reports side by side using dashboard component on a single dashboard page layout dashboard component come in various chart type table metrics metrics gauges and you can customize how data is grouped summarize and display for each component the dashboard builder is intuitive interface for building dashboard from source report you created in Salesforce so let me go to the dashboard okay we can create uh, we can go from here also or I can do like just give me one minute open cases for all the time okay uh, I can go from here and we'll see like how does it look like add chart or uh, like add dashboard sorry but let let me cre create one one only now we don't have to go from here so, okay 
ओके इन डैशबोर्ड भी गोना क्लिक ऑन न्यू डैशबोर्ड एंड वी गोना सिलेक्ट लीड्स हियर रिपोर्ट टैब वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट वी कैन यूज दिस ओनली आई हैव क्रिएटेड योर अकाउंट विथ लिस्ट इज इज ऑपरेटेड डायरेक्ट अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड्स ओके should i use up to this here up to this one okay let me use this only we'll try to see this okay let me create new report from where we will gonna create our own dashboard okay so in report i'll gonna create a report of leads okay and start reporting from filter we required uh, required my all leads not just mine okay all and date should be all time okay so these are the leads i have now i'll gonna go in outlines uh from rows i'll just need a lead source and in add group i'll gonna go and lead source only uh, in okay this are the add column right okay so i have selected my lead source from add group okay okay so you can see here that lead source are has been divided like uh, lead source are web phone inquiry purchase list and these are the records come in this lead source right okay so now we will gonna first of all we gonna reorder everything lead uh, source would be it should be lead owner should come first right okay because we really need to know like who is the lead owner so we just gonna add lead owner first okay and lead owner first name last name okay title companies email and this and so on okay so i just gonna click on save i'll gonna name it leads by lead source okay okay i'm gonna save it now we gonna run this okay okay so we have created a report which says lead by lead source and now i'll just gonna click on this drop down and gonna click on add to dashboard part and this is not existing it's a new so we're gonna name it lead dashboard okay and we can uh stay the folder same as private or whatever you want to select and add and you can select the display as you going to type like donut chart or horizontal bar chart or whatever you want to select right these are the dashboard you you can see this they are looking like customizable colorful see okay so we gonna uh, we gonna select donut chart here okay and we just gonna select dark thing okay that's look nice and add you can add here you can customize its length okay and yeah in report you have to read everything but in dashboard you can see like uh, at the right hand side it says lead source right and what are the lead source web phone inquiry partner referral and purchase list right and it has its own color and in record count we can see a chart it's written 77 like we have 77 so what we have purchase list um, we have seven record from purchase list and from web and uh, yeah and four from partner referral and four from 
phone inquiry and this is what we call as a dashboard okay and we're just gonna save it so yeah we have created reports so many reports we have seen uh, how we can add our report in dashboards so yeah thank you so much for watching our video and this is it today we have learned about reports and dashboards in lightning experience thank you so much for watching our video see ya bye